let you take a piece of me? There's a reason you should respect me. I thought you talk about all cool. Looks like that's what we were looking for. Yeah, you've got it. at Alcatraz from 1933 to 1942. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales from the prison's history. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. It's believed that Arlington, a.k.a. the Weasel, somehow convinced three other inmates that he had devised a full plan to escape the rock. It was a plan that would see them literally taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of Arlington's own design. Oh, we're going the wrong way. I think this one through double time. Yeah. Yeah. Just how the weasel managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan was even possible remains a mystery to this day. What is known is that no such plan was ever born. Instead, the group's plans for freedom soon descended into a bitter argument and infighting. Well, we need the fuel on the uh, With the plan falling apart, anger and frustration would ultimately lead to a brutal altercation between the misguided well, Arlington and his former co-conspirators. Going on afterlife. Oh, all of us need to go. All of us need to go. Yeah, but one of them is one person in afterlife. Yeah, but you have to go in afterlife. Have you got the next one? makeshift weapons. Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Who's Billy Hansen lured the uh, unsuspecting uh, Arlington to the roof where they to intended to exact a bloody uh, and violent revenge. Oh. And so it was here, beneath the dark and stormy winter skies, that the hapless Arlington met his grisly end bleeding to death on the cold, concrete roof. For their participation in the murder, the elaborators were sent to death 
my electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19th, 1934, the execution order was carried out. I don't think Elliot's off the door of Appleby now, though. You'll still have to think, 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 you'